Hey everybody. Uh, sorry, I was I was late by one minute. Um, all right. Um, today we are doing um this. Hold on, let me show you. Which is what I did on the piece that I used um for the new release. I did the magazine holder, which is really cool. And this is exactly what I did to it. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this today. And I think this would look so cool on like a Bombay chest or an old antique, like a really like older antique dresser. I think this would look so cool. Um, so I'm just going to jump on in and um, it's uh, sorry. I've been my my brain is so scattered. OK, Roz here, new old finds. Say hi when you hop on. Let me know you're here. Don't mind my dog who keeps walking into my tripod and I shall get started. Okay, this is a, I don't have any other um, just regular uh, canvases left over. So um, Rita's, our Prima Marketing has these. Sorry for the glare, there we go. And it's a, um, DIY watercolor panel and these I believe are eight by ten and they're hard so it's like a, a you know you can hang it either horizontal or vertical and it's like a, a one inch block it's really cool and it's a high anat anat an anat anat <laughs> let me know if I'm saying it right or wrong high salvage daisy um, so these are really cool. They, um, you, I mean, you can do obviously a multitude of things with them, obviously, and you can probably get them, um, right now on the, uh, Prima site. So that's good. Um, so I've just painted the, hi Maria. I've just painted, I have two of them right here and I've painted one coat of the, hi Sandy, from the, um, Fusion uh, Mineral Paint Goddess Ashwagandha, which is like the coolest name. It's a really kind of pretty creamy gray, um, which works good for this uh, project because my original, um, my original inspiration was like an old concrete um, planter. You know how they get like crackled and aged and they've got that kind of grayish creamy color to them. So that was my original um, inspiration for this, which it, you can see on the pictures. Okay, um, and I'm using the, which is what I only have just a little bit left of my Peaceful Flight Transfer, which is fabulous and is available from your local retailers right now. This is the uh, the new release, and um, it's so pretty, super pretty. This was my favorite, of course. Um, and then I'm using the uh, Crackle, Imperial Crackle stamp. That's this one. And it comes with the um, Damask and then the, the Crackle, which is super cool because you don't have like a whole ton of work. You don't have to like go through the whole trying to crackle everything. You just have it already done for you. It's so super cool. Okay, so where I'm going to show you how to do it. And then you guys can do it because I want to see a whole bunch of like projects with the crackle stamp. Okay, all right, I'm going to point you down. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, coolio. I think that's all right. Okay. So, of course, I told you I've already painted one coat. It doesn't have to be a full coat because you're going to be doing the stamping over it and you're also going to be putting the transfer and you're also going to do the glaze. So, no worries. You don't need to, you know, make it super perfect. And obviously, I haven't done my sides, which I will, of course, finish up when I'm done, but I don't need to do it right now. Okay. So, now it's just a matter of deciding which part of what I have left of the transfer and do I want to do horizontal or do I want to do uh, vertical? So let's see, I have two sheets left. Here's one 
and then here's the other. So I like I've I've done quite a bit with it. It is a great stamp. It really is. Okay, so I've got this piece and I've got that piece. So I think what I'm going to do is keep this big one for something else. I think that would look really pretty as a focal point on the front of like a little dresser or nightstand or something. So I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to use this piece and I'm going to use this piece. And I'm going to kind of cut them up a little bit so that they do fit evenly on each side. And luckily I have two butterflies left too. Woohoo! Yay me! Okay, do I have... Yes, I do have scissors. Okie dokies. So let me cut out this big piece here and I can use that on another project. See, this has been great because I've done, I did that whole magazine rack and then I did, um, I did this sample board over here a couple days ago for the live. And then um, now I can get another project out of this piece here. So, I mean, it's a really a great deal for three sheets. You can get lots of, uh... that's awesome, Carla. I can't, I want to see it. So make sure you tag me in it so I can see it. Cause I love that stamp. I think that's really cool. Cause I'm not really a great person to crackle to begin with. So, <laughs> yeah. whatever. Some people are really good at it. I'm not. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to cut this off. This little bunch here is going to be my filler to make both of them look similar. So let me just cut that off. Similar but different. And then I've got just a little bloop of that branch there, but I'm really not, I don't know. Well, maybe I'll keep it, maybe I won't. I don't know yet. So I'll just cut so it looks similar, which would be like that. There we go. I may need to use that on something different. Now, if I wanted to, it doesn't have to necessarily be blue white or, you know, blue cream or blue gray or whatever. I could add, you know, any other transfers in there too, as well, if I wanted. Um, but for today, we're just going to do this. So I think I'm going to make them horizontal. And I'm going to do this one first because it wants to unravel on me. And I'm afraid it's going to stick to something it doesn't need to stick to. So that's one of the things that I've noticed a lot is people saying how the, the backing sheet's not sticking to the transfers anymore and, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's, it's really, it's not supposed to. It's just there to protect the design, right? So your responsibility when you take it out of the tube is to make sure that it stays together, right? Now, if I knew I wasn't going to be using this piece, I'm not just going to toss it over there. I'm going to carefully roll it back up so that I know it's protected. It's not going to roll back on itself. And if need be, I can put a little piece of tape or an elastic or something around that to protect it. I'm always very careful and very conscientious when I take my transfers out of the tubes not to let them roll up on themselves because then you've ruined your transfer and then you're, you know, you're out that money and it sucks. So just be aware, be a little more conscious that the backing sheets are different and they aren't meant to stick to the transfer. Okie dokie. Okay. Let me go back to this now. PSA for today. Okay. All right. So we're just going to add this on and yeah, see, I don't like that little piece. I don't like the little stick this branch yeah I don't like this branch so I'm gonna cut it off it, it's not just it's not working for me so we're just gonna do that and make it look just nice okay so I'll do that on the other one too they're a little bit different a little bit different design but so now it sits in there perfect fits in there perfectly and I'm gonna probably put it down just a little like so and then all my crackle will be up here and you know a little bit down here see that's the fun is the crackle can be wherever you want to put the crackle all right so let's get this little guy on there and of course there's a a butterfly left and a pretty bird all right can you guys see i think so hold on there we 
go. We'll just put it upright a little bit. Perfect. All right. So now you notice also the transfers have the grid lines, which help tremendously for making sure that your design ends up straight. If you want it to, of course. You don't have to have it perfectly straight, of course, if you don't want to. Okay. So I'm just going to take my hands and smooth it on. Make sure that it's everywhere that I want it to be. Okay, and then take my stick, which you can use the tool if you like. I'm just going to use the stick that comes with it because I like it. It works just perfectly great and wonderful for me, so I'm going to use it. But you can absolutely use the tool if that is much more comfortable for you to use. And then I'm just going to rub it on, rub my stick all over the design. And this is great for these because they're, they're nice and solid. And you'll notice when the, the transfer is applying that it, it goes a little bit gray. It goes a lighter color. Oops, it goes a lighter color than the, the one around it. All right. And I think I had just a smidge of a little bit of grit or something I picked up off my table that's under there. And then you're just going to want to rock it back and forth. It's, uh, it's, no, it's, um, um, what did I, what color did I say it was before? It's like a, like a Liberty Blue. It's very bright. It's not like a, a dark navy or anything. It's, 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 it's pretty bright. Okay, and then get down to the last little bloop. There we go. All right. How cute. So then you're just going to take your fingers and in little circles. Just rub all over, make sure it's on there. Now, if you if you prefer to do your stamp first, you can. Um, I like to do it after, just because I want to be able to control where it goes around the transfer. I want it to look natural. All right, so there's one. And now we're gonna do this guy. And I don't, see, I just don't like this branch. It's so weird looking. Not that it, it would still fit, but it was just weird looking to me. All right, so now we're going to put this one here. And I'm going to cut the butterfly out here. See the butterfly? I'm going to cut this one out because it's so close to the design, but I want it to be a little bit further away when I put it on my block. So... I'm going to just cut this little guy out. I know he's having a conversation with the bird, but they can still talk. They just need to be six feet apart. Okay, so, or in this case, six inches apart. <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay. So now this one will go here. Just like that, okay. And again, just make sure you spread it out evenly across what you're working on, okay. And then take your stick and go over every spot or your transfer tool, whatever you prefer. Did, did you think that was fun? I thought that was funny. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me put it down. Make sure I got all my little corners and my little bits. All these little branches, we all need to make sure that they're attached. Okay. All right, and then just start peeling back, rocking back and forth. Rocking makes it so that, just for me anyway, it just makes it easier for me to see if things are stuck. If they're not, I can just easily go right back down. Okay. 
Plus, I'm doing it slowly. I'm not just ripping the back off. I don't want to just rip it off because then you have the chance of pulling up your transfer from where it was. And you don't want to do that. You want to make sure that you have the chance to correct anything if there's any issues before it becomes a problem, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, and then again, just take your finger and little circles, just go over your whole design or you can use your palm. All right, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna take our little butterfly buddy and we're going to probably put it up here just so it balances it out a little better like that. All right. So our little butterfly is gonna go up there. Okay. And I don't think I actually need to add anything else. So this little piece here, I can also save for another time. I don't need to use it on this. I think this looks pretty adorable just the way it is. All right, so now we're going to do our stamp. So for this one, God, it picked up on the back, it picked up the, the fluff. It, it feels funny. So this one, I'm going to use the Color Philosophy, and this is in the color uh, Warm Gray. And these are permanent, so which is good. So once they're dry, you can clear coat if you like, or you can just leave it as is, especially since this is going to be um, like a you know wall art or whatever, it'll be perfectly fine. Okay, so now what we're going to do, and I'm just going to use this upside down so you guys can see, okay? I'm going to take my stamp and just dab it. And each one is comes with a little cover to keep it uh, moist and, and, and wet so that it's not getting um, dried out. And then I'm just going to dab over the stamp. Okay. I don't need the whole length of it. I only really need the size of the the size of of, of the uh, board here, okay? And you can see that it's on there. I liked the warm gray because it kind of went well with the um, the color here, okay. So hopefully you guys can see. So what I'm just going to do is lay it across very gently. And I'm gonna start in my corner. And see, I haven't placed it all the way down because I don't necessarily want it all over uh, my transfer. And I just kind of want it to be sporadic. See, like so. Right, and then I'm going to do the same thing from this corner and across. And you can do the whole thing if you like. If you wanna go across it all, that's perfectly fine, you can. Okay, and then I'll just kinda of dab a little in here and then a tiny little bit over here and then maybe up in this corner, just bloop. And then bloop, and then bloop, and then bloop until it just looks good. <laughs> just bloop until it looks good. You can use decor wax. Oh, I know, right? I wish I had access to more, but I don't yet. Okay, so while this one dries, because you want it to be dry, and if you don't want it to be like, I don't know if I can get close enough to show you. Like here, it went across the transfer, which is perfectly fine if you like it to be that way. But I don't specifically, so I'm just gonna take my finger and just rub that off. So there's still like a little bit of the 
um, the ink there because it is permanent. So it's not unless you catch it right away. But that's okay. I don't mind that. And if I feel like there's a little bit too much here, I can also dab with my finger. And that takes away some of the heaviness of it and kind of blends it a little, makes it a little more, um, I don't know what the word is, blended, I guess. I mean, but you can tell already it's, it's drying. But this sort of like ages it as well, gives it that, because um, you don't want it to be perfectly uh, precise. You want it to be aged and distressed looking, right? Because it's been sitting out in the, elements for a long time or that's the impression that you want to give right you want it to look like concrete yeah okay all right so while that was drying we're going to do our next one and if need be i can all always um i lost my train of thought i'm sorry Oh, I can always hair dryer it to dry it quicker. All right, just stamp real quick. You don't need a lot. Okay. And then we're gonna do this one. And you can, of course, do any colors you like in the stamping. Um, the Color Philosophy inks, there's a lot of colors. A lot of colors. And they're really pretty. I have one that's a turquoise that I just got. I can't, or it's like, I think it's called sea glass. I can't wait to use it. I don't know what I'm going to use it on yet, but I can't wait to use it. It's really, really pretty. Okay. And you want your stamping to be um, random, like literally random. Because nature wouldn't be perfect, right? So you want it to look broken and busted up. Like a so, like a so. Okay, so now while that is drying, let me put this down there. Let me see how this guy's doing. Still a smidge wet, but that's okay because I'm not gonna muck about with the middle part or anything. I'm just going to use the edges. All right, so I have um, just a little bit left of my Van Dyke Glaze from General Finishes. This is a really great color. I like it a lot. It's very subtle. And so I'm just going to take a brush. This one is a Finibear Art Basics brush, and it has like a texture thing on the end, which is kind of cool. I haven't really used those a lot yet, but I love the brushes. They are really nice and soft and they work really well. This one has been very used and loved. And so it's a little more, um, a little more poofy, which works perfect when you're trying to do, um, dang it, I forgot to get a paper towel. Hang on, let me get a paper towel because I need a paper towel for this. Hold on. I knew I forgot something. Okay. I don't have a whole sheet, but they're right over there. Okay, so basically you're just you're going to do it like you were um like like dry brushing or whitewashing you know so you're just going to literally dab your uh, your glaze onto your paper towel and then you're just going to literally just kind of dry brush. You don't want it to be super dark. You don't want it to be, you know, crazy. You just want it to look aged, right? I know it's hard to pick it up on the, on the camera because of my doohickey, but I'll show you the difference. Let me get just a little dab dark up corner there. Okay, and then you can um, you can stipple if you like, which gives you the pattern, or you can make it like really really dry and then just 
um, go in like little circles. And that makes it darker. I don't want it quite that dark, so I'm just going to wipe that off. Wipe it back anyway. Which still has my, you can still see the stippling and stuff, but it's just not as dark as it was. Okay. And then just to blend that in a little, I'll do a little bit more stippling there. Okay, and then I'll just continue along. And that will be my corners. Um, you know, little glaze goes a long way. You don't need a lot for sure. All right, love it. And you just, you know, for this, you're just basically making it look like, okay, instead of it being um, like a ceramic pot, this has been, you know, some old, you know, I don't know, not, not like a brick, but a, an old column or something that was left out in the elements or, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And you can also go up into your, your design if you like. Maybe you want to make it so it's like right up here, you know, just a little bit aged through here. Like that. I don't know how much you can see of that. Supply list, please, and places to purchase. <laughs> so the, um, in my description, I have the, uh, the links to um, the paint, there's the link to the uh, store retail, the, like the retailer store links, like all of them, where you can purchase um, these. This is a new release transfer, so these are only going to be available for retailers right now, but there's also an affiliate link in there, and um, the affiliate link goes to purchase all of the older redesigned products or products. And I get a small commission for that, and I would thank you very much. But not necessary. You can absolutely purchase wherever you so desire. But there is um, the, the Crackle stamp, which is called Imperial Crackle. That's this one, Imperial Crackle. And then there's the... Uh, Oop, that's upside down. And then this is the Color Philosophy ink. And this one is in warm gray. And I think they have, they've got to have at least, I don't know, maybe 20 to 30 different colors of their inks, the Color Philosophy ones. And they're permanent. So that's a big help to be able to do a design and not have to worry about it rubbing off or anything like that or coming off when you go to seal it. So you, I can absolutely, if I wanted to seal, seal this um, with a water-based sealer if I wanted for sure. All right, so I wanna make, since I made my little age spot down here, I want to, yes, it, it does. The damask comes with the crackle and the damask at the same time, which is super cool. So you get like two, two stamps in one, which is awesome. And then we'll just kind of do like a little age spot right here just to kind of balance it out. Maybe something up here, join these up. So pretty, I love it, so pretty. Yeah, so that's pretty much what it is. Um, so this could be like a three-piece set when I finish it if I wanted. So here's the here's the two of them together. Isn't that pretty? It's like old um, concrete that's been sitting out for forever and ever. So pretty. Uh, 
Uh, it should be Marlene for sure. It's a great, a great, great stamp. Most of them come with, you know, two or three different pieces. But I really like this just because it's like they're so opposite of each other, right? It's just like a completely opposite design aesthetic, but in the same package, you know? So you're getting, you know, basically two stamps in one. You can't go wrong with that, for sure. So like I said, this one is Imperial Crackle. And... Um, the... Transfer is called Peaceful Flight, and the retailers all have it uh, in stock right now. And uh, I, like I said, I put the link to the store locator for the retailers up in the description. And then I used um, I used the Goddess Ashwagandha from uh, Fusion Mineral Paint, which there's also a uh, link to. Uh, up in my description and um, these boards are Prima they're watercolor panels and they are 8 by 10 so this would be a fabulous uh, class to do if you have like a booth or anything like that this would be really cool otherwise you know they're hard so you can do a multitude of things with these and you can hang them vertically or horizontal it's really cool um yeah these are really cool and these are from prima so they should be available as well all right guys um i know this was a quicker one today um i was not prepared for my other choice that i wanted to do so i figured um i would do a a, a quick live tutorial on how to make your crackle and uh, transfers together and make them look bold and aged and pretty. I think it's fabulous. And here's the bigger one. But I think this will be a really cool set, like a really cool, um, what's that, what's that word for three pictures in one? Well, besides the trifecta or whatever. Yep, so that's that. And, um, definitely check out those links above and um thank you sandy i will um i will be back whoops my thing wants to keep moving Woo. um i will be back next monday with something much more well much longer anyway fill up my hour but i'm okay i did i did okay i did okay on time um so thanks guys i will uh i will see you uh next monday Bye.